There is word from parts of the American West tonight that another huge gold rush is underway in this country. Those involved say it's a big one, as NBC's Farland Chang reports tonight. If you can afford to look for it, it's there. Last century, old-time gold prospectors mined for gold they could see. But today in Nevada, gold prospectors are striking it rich, mining for gold that is literally microscopic. Well, you can see a lot of gold, little specks of gold all through that. Geologist John Livermore discovered this so-called invisible gold. He followed up on an obscure 1930s report by a government engineer about some worthless-looking rocks that contain gold. The key phrase was this was a type of deposit that the old timers could have missed, right on the surface, because it didn't pan. So Livermore performed lab tests on more rocks and was amazed at the discovery. It was so much better than we'd ever dreamed about. I mean, you know, it's many times what we thought we'd find. His strike in 1961 led to the discovery of more than 30 gold mines. Those mines have produced $18 billion in gold since 1990. And now the U.S. is second only to South Africa in producing gold. It takes money to make this money. Newmont Mining Company says it can take up to 10 years and $100 million to develop one mine. An average of 25 tons of rock must be crushed to squeeze just one ounce of gold. And most miners never see the scorching river of gold that is poured into the final product. Each brick of gold weighs 50 pounds and is worth an estimated quarter million dollars based on today's gold prices. From here, this gold will eventually be sold on the open market. In search of more gold, mining companies are now going underground. It's costlier, but the quality of gold can be 30 times higher. I think it's more than a rush. I mean, there's a lot more yet to be found. The new gold rush has turned small desert towns like Elko into boom towns, creating an industry in Nevada that's second only to gambling. We're quite confident that uh, the industry will have a life of another 20 years. An industry that started because one man saw wealth, where others saw only waste. Farlin Chang, NBC News, Elko, Nevada. And that is NBC Nightly News for this Saturday evening. Don Fratangelo will be here with you tomorrow night. I'll see you all next week on the news on cable on MSNBC at 9 Eastern, again on CNBC at 10. I'm Brian Williams reporting tonight from New York. Good night.